Welcome to today's Pathway. So we took a little bit of a sidestep from numbers today as our guest speaker, Sandra Richter, shared kind of an overview of Deuteronomy, which in the biblical record comes right on the heels of numbers. So as she explained it, numbers brings us right to the edge of the promised land. Joshua will be the battles in the promised land. And so Deuteronomy stands almost like one massive final sermon the last words of Moses to all of the people that he's been on such an incredible journey with. And I appreciated how uh, Sandra commended us for our 10 months through numbers. But it got me thinking, if I was Moses, after everything that we've seen in the book of Numbers, what are the things that you would remind people? Because Sandra showed us how each moment kind of moving through Deuteronomy was another reminder of what they've learned, of where they've been, of what God had done, of who God is and who they are. And so I thought what really kind of challenged me from her message was thinking about this idea that Moses wants to repeat for them, you know, almost like the the talk you have with your teenager before you let them out of the house. What are those last things you've just got to remember before I send you off on your own, before all of the distractions of life, good things and bad things, begin to drown out what you might have learned or heard from God so that they don't forget what it looks like to choose life. In fact, uh, she shared from Deuteronomy 30, I'll just read you verse 19 again, where Moses says, I call heaven and earth as witness today against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. And so one of the things that's not on the pathway, but a great question to think about that Sandra shared was if you were sharing your last words, what would they be? Because Moses knew when his last day was going to be, he, he could prepare this. Like he knew what he wanted to tell them. And she showed us in Jesus' life as well, before he returned to heaven, what were those last moments he shared with his disciples, encouraging them and us to go and make disciples of all nations, to spread the good news about who Jesus Christ is. And so what would you share with your kids, with your family, with your friends? Like if you knew these were your last words, what would you say? I don't know that I have the immediate answer for that. As she said it, You know, different things popped into mind from things as uh, esoteric as Rosebud (laughs) from Citizen Kane. That was his last word, but I guess that one wouldn't work for me. Maybe it would be a Bible verse. What, man, which one would I pick? What would I want to pass on, you know, to my kids and my family? Like, remember, this is the most important thing. Before I leave you, I want you to know something about God's love, something about God's promises. What would it be? And so I'd encourage you to think about this that this week because as I thought about it, it also made me think, if I came up with what those would be, why not say them now too? Am I living it now? Am I sharing it now? So let me pray for you that way as that gives us something to be chewing on. Lord, I do just, I thank you for Sandra and the time that she spent with us this week. I thank you for the challenge that she gave us that just like you can win victory uh, in the land of Israel and Numbers and Deuteronomy and Joshua, you can win victory in Cincinnati too. And so we just pray that you would continue to uh, bring victory in our lives, that we would uh, push sin away and follow you in obedience, but also, Lord, that your gospel would spread, that more and more people would come to know um, the amazing grace that you offer through Jesus Christ, that we would see your victory spread across our own city as well. We ask that by your Spirit's power and in Jesus' name. Amen.